I'm in my pajamas. Let's have a pajama party, okay? <laughs> in my van. I'm gonna make us coffee. It's the day after Christmas. It's still a holiday because it's Monday. So on Sunday was Christmas, so Monday gets to be another holiday for everybody. And it's pretty cold. Not too bad humidity, it's only 55. And it's 52 degrees in here, which is pretty cold, which means it's probably about 42 out here. Let me take a look. So I hope you had a good Christmas. I just thought I'd make coffee and chit chat just for a few minutes. Not a long time. Oh, here it is, yeah. What do we got here? Oh, it's 39 degrees. Well, you know, that's almost freezing. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get coffee going here. I need a cup. Hey, you know what? I don't know, coffee's been kind of weird on me lately. So I found that when I drink coffee during the day, a lot of times I'd go to a restaurant when Paul wanted to go eat breakfast and I would drink coffee. I think I'm, I think I've been getting way too much coffee. It's not so much that you could see me having the jitters, but inside I seem to be having these jitters going on like it was, and it's kind of uncomfortable. So for me, one cup in the morning. So I'm going to enjoy it my one cup of the day with you all, okay? Let me get back here. I still got my pajama bottoms on. Do you like my, um, it's very pink in here today, isn't it? It's kind of a pink world. But yeah, I bought this shirt. It was $10. It's so warm and it's, yeah, I really like it. Let me tuck this in. Only because I got a little fire going on, I will tuck that in there. Okay, how do I look in the morning? <laughs> Okay, get this is my tray. I love it. IKEA. Got it at IKEA. Here's my um coffee drawer. Strictly coffee, coffee and tea. So get some water in here. Well, I had a really good time for Christmas, okay? Paul and I went out for breakfast. Then kind of hung out at the park. Then we went to my daughter's for uh, Christmas. It was a good time. We spent, um, actually we ended up, I'm still, I'm sleeping in front of her house right now. So I usually don't like to do that. What I like to do, so many people said, oh, go stay at your children's house. I don't really like to do that. I like to keep things I know it sounds weird, but that's just the way, every family has different ways that they roll, right? And I just feel like I like to be very independent. I want them to have their own space. I really do. And I like to have my own space. I love them dearly, but I don't like to park in their driveways. No, it's it's not it's not how I like to do it. But I know a lot of you do, and there's nothing wrong with it. Everybody has their own ways, right? Yeah. So this is my system. I have a little, I used the round ones because I tried the more cone ones, the filters, and it, it broke at the bottom. So I like to use the round ones. That's the way I like to do it. And a lot of you say, well, you don't even have to use a filter. And I wouldn't have to. This is a no filter drip. It's really nice. But for cleanup, all I have to go is go boop into the uh, wastebasket. It's the reason I use this is because it's easier. Easy works in a small area. Okay, I even got my own little coffee spoon in here. And this is Starbucks. This is a breakfast blend. And I just, I like to put it in here to seal it better. And Yeah, I just used two scoops. I know I can't really move my camera to show you, but my camera's up there. So you have to bear with me on my filming quality here, filming skills. <laughs> and see, then I, what I do is I use 
So in the morning, I use three of the, this is for this size. And I may even drop down to a smaller size again and not just a big size. But I've got three of my creamers. And then I put just a little bit of Coffee Mate in there. Just, to, it's sort of like a, gives it a, and it takes away any bitter taste on that. Got my emergency. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, we had a good time. Then my son came over. My granddaughter wasn't feeling good. She kind of has that with that crud that's going around. She started kindergarten. And, you know, when little small children start kindergarten, they they just pass us illness back and forth, back and forth. So she didn't come. And the, um, my daughter-in-law didn't come either, but my son was there. And so Paul and my son and then my daughter and her partner and, oh, my gosh, we had such a good time. Um, we played some games. We just sat outside because it's Tucson. So it was about... 65 almost 70 degrees in the sun in tucson so that was a good time and uh ex then we exchanged gifts my son and daughter-in-law got me this this is faith and it's really nice well let me wash this real quick and i'll use the new one yeah i haven't washed this out yet because it's still morning. What time is it? It's 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot and talking a lot about New Year's. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to see. It's got to see how this works. There we go. It's to um, seal. It sides up and down. There we go. Okay, we'll wash this out. Yeah, it'll be not in it. It will go with my outfit, right? <laughs> well, my daughter loves Marshalls. She loves Marshalls, so she got me a um, gift certificate for that. We don't spend a lot for Christmas. Well, you know, it really depends. We go in cycles. My family, we go in cycles. Some one some years we spend a lot of money on each other, and then other years we don't spend much at all. Yeah, it's like you well, know, uh, and it's not that we we have the money or don't have the money. It's just it's just not the important thing. Like we say, the important thing. I think we're really happy to have each other, and I think as my children, I don't know um, for yours, but. For my children, I think they're getting older. My oldest is 44 and then down. And I think they're finding out as they get older, they're finding out that family really is important. Because I think for a while they break away. It's like, I'm on my own. I'm my own person. I'm going to live my life as an adult. And then they get older they go, wow, you know, family really is so important. My mom's really important. They lost their dad. Um, way back, way back, um, he was in, um, uh, killed in the car accident and it was a drunk driver. So, you know, uh, so that was a long time ago. And I think they're, so they only have one parent left, which is me, moi. And I think they're finding out how truly important they knew I was important, but I mean, truly important that I am. So, you know, yeah, family is, is getting a little bit more fun. I think for everybody. I take my vitamins in the morning. I know, Centrum, Centrum for women, I know. So, so many of you said, oh, that stuff is crap. Well, it does good for me. I know it does. And I also have these airborne uh, gummies. And I take these sometimes during the afternoon. I'll take a couple of these. You know, it's that season, right? Okay, water is boiling. Oh yeah, so what I wanna do is I wanna get my emergency going. Every morning I take this. I have for like four years now. Oh, 
also drank some of my water first thing when I woke up. I want to keep water going. Okay, so how much, how did I eat <laughs> during the holidays? Well, since we got that C's candy, yeah. Um, I, I did, uh, I've been eating candy, folks. I really have. Let me see. We'll put this in here. Get this going. Emergency. Everything's pink today, huh? Get this stirred up ready. There we go with that. Now my water is about to boil, so I'm going to stop this. It doesn't need to boil. And what I do, I'll say I pour this very, very carefully. There we go. Oh, coffee. Ooh, I'm surrounded by steam. Good for the sinuses, huh? I feel great though. I honestly feel great, everybody. Uh, coughing. Yeah, um, it was just a, this weird, annoying little dry cough every once in a while. I feel great. I feel happy. I feel healthy. Everything's clear. I, yeah. Life is good, isn't it? So this is my drip system, everybody. And then when I'm done, I can just take this and kind of bunch it up and boop into the garbage. Yeah. Well, today is still really a holiday. I don't know what's open today. Just going to go to the park. I will tell you all, yeah, I really have done a lot of whining about Planet Fitness, how they screwed me over the last time in Albuquerque. So I vowed, <laughs> yeah, I vowed I would never join again. Well, I had to join again. I did, but I know which one. And you know what I did? I joined one just as a member. I did not get the black card. And what they did, they didn't overcharge me. They didn't um, overcharge me on what Albuquerque said they were going to do to me, like they were going to charge me this money. Well, I don't even want to go into the story. It was just, uh, <laughs> I don't want to go into it. Oh, I'm done here. There we go. And uh, because I had to, <laughs> I had to do it. Uh, there was no way I can exercise outside. It's too cold. And I was missing exercise. And that is so important to me. And some of you might not maybe understand that. Like, well, I don't, you know. Well, it is important to me. I don't feel well, and I don't feel my best if I uh, don't exercise. So I did join, and everything's going great. So it's really only $10, because the black card went up in price. It was like 23 22 23 It went up to like $28. But the, the regular membership is only $10. When I leave Tucson, I'll cancel, and then that's it. Um, in the summer, when I go up to Flagstaff, there's another place I'd like to join. So, okay, let's we'll use my new. There we go. Oh, this is a little bit bigger. I like it. Thank you, family, for getting this for me. Okay. So I've been going there. I don't know if they're open today. Now that's the only one I can use. I picked one that's close to the area that I usually hang out in, in Tucson. But at least for five or six days a week, I can go in there, walk on the treadmill. Then I, they've got this big stretching area. They usually have an area for stretching and with pads that you could lay down and stretch on. So wow, I've been getting my stretching. I've been getting my walking and I've been getting some, um, getting back into using the machines 
and then the free weights every once in a while. I'm more of a machine person right now and not so much the free weights, but pretty darn cool. I'm just going to put, I don't use much of this and I don't always have this. It's just Christmas time. I thought, well, okay, <laughs> I know. Little bit in there. There we go. And then stir up the brew. So this is my morning. This is what I do in the morning, people. My friends. <laughs> this is what I do. Okay, we'll put my new lid on. Okay, I gotta try this. Okay. Here you go. There's yours. Cheers. Ah, the day after Christmas coffee. Oh, yummy. <laughs> you remember that? I know. No, this one. <laughs> yeah, can you do it? <laughs> It took a while for me, right? Yeah, I know you're laughing like, oh, she can't even do that. You know. And then, okay, last night, my daughter, she was drinking a few beers, right? So, you guys, well, she goes, well, why don't you and Paul just sleep in front of the house in your in your vans? Don't, you don't have to drive anywhere. She knows I if I drink, which I don't hardly ever do, that I will never, ever drive, Right? And she's like, well, just sleep it. She goes, but I'll make you a little drink and you can drink with us. So I thought, okay. But she just put like a little teeny bit of vodka, <laughs> vodka and grapefruit juice. So, and you know, that actually did have a big effect on me. I wasn't drunk or anything, but it did kind of make me feel ooh, a little different. I mean, I drink maybe once a year, maybe twice. Um, and that's about it. I'm not a drinker. I never was. I never drank. My parents didn't drink. You know, it just when I was younger, I mean, like, you know, a, a young adult, I, you know, and that was in the 70s. I graduated 71. It was marijuana. I mean, we smoked marijuana. <laughs> you know, that's when we went our friends. We had a this huge group of friends and we all hung out together and we smoked marijuana. It was illegal, obviously, but you know, that's what did. we, we did not drink. We weren't th like the drinkers. And, uh, so that was pretty cool. And then what, uh, for a timeline. And then what happened was, um, my husband was one of the last of the draftees from, for Vietnam and he was drafted, but he um, didn't go to Vietnam. They weren't sending anybody over there. Although there were still people there, there were soldiers still there. But he went to Germany, and um, it was just a matter of uh, a months. And then I followed him, so I lived in um, Germany for a couple of years. But there was no marijuana there. There just wasn't marijuana there. And um, but there was hashish. <laughs> I know. No, we no cash. Yeah, I'm not good for the lungs. Not good for the lungs. I understand that. And then when we came back, then of course it was marijuana. Again, but drinking, it just really wasn't there. And of course, then, you know, eventually we stopped smoking, you know, but, but uh, that was always our thing. It was just smoking marijuana and uh, chilling out, you know. <laughs> uh, well, here, I got to drink. For, I have to drink my uh, emergency. Good stuff. I know. I'll wash that later. <laughs> Let me get my tray cleaned up here. Well, you know, I don't really have a lot to say today, so I just wanted to check in with you. And um, it's a very pink day, right? And, uh, Sometimes it's fun to talk nostalgia, like, you know, the 70s. You know, the 60s were cool. You know, a lot of us grew up in the 60s. And then, of course, a lot of you were young adults in the 60s, but that wasn't the way with me. 
I graduated in 71, so I kind of miss having fun in the 60s. I mean, I heard about Woodstock, but I knew what was going on. I knew that. But I didn't really know what was going on. I knew it. I was too young to go. My parents would have never let me go. There were a lot of people that were very young that went. But um, my parents, no. We were traditional Midwestern people. <laughs> and there was no way their daughter was going to hitch or whatever and go to some rock concert in New York, you know? Oops. So that wasn't in my... Um, repertoire things that I did um, when I was a teenager but I do know that was going on but so in the 70s 71 is when I graduated from high school and became an adult and started you know my my life and I do think that's when I started my life school wasn't all that great for me I mean it was fun but it wasn't like, oh, you know, some people, oh, their glory days. My glory days were when I got out of, of, out of high school. And so, you know, that's when my life began. And married young. A lot of people did back then. We married young. And it was, it was a good time. And I feel very fortunate that um, I got to live um, in Europe for a couple of years. That was great. Uh, no children yet. I didn't even have children until I got into Tucson, into Arizona. So, but, so I missed a lot of the 60s stuff, but I was still 60s up here in my mind. And um, I've always kind of had a bohemian kind of attitude towards life. Well, I don't want this to go on and on and on. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Just a little chat. I think we're all kind of, we're kind of calmed down a little bit at this time of year. And it is the day after Christmas and it's just chill time right now, right? So if you were alone yesterday, you know, just, just know that you are loved. And if you're watching this, I appreciate all of you guys. I really do. And we're going to have a good year all together, I think. Life is really good. And I want to do a shout out to Tyler. Hey, Tyler, I'm glad you're doing better. Oh, my gosh. And I will answer your um, your message here in just a little bit. But I'm glad to know, Tyler, that you're doing okay. You're important to me. Yeah. So anybody that wants to chit-chat with me, you can find me on Facebook, Messenger. Or you can email me as long as they're nice and, and they're, um, they're not cruel or mean or negative. You can chit chat with me if you want to. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. It really helps me. Go to minivanlee.com for um, some products, neck gaiters, sunglasses, and shemogs, exercise videos. I love you guys. Till tomorrow. Bye.